The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District placed the last concrete at Wolf Creek Dam April 19, 2013. Everyone gathered for a completion ceremony at Russell Springs Auditorium and Natatorium, watched it via a live feed on the big screen. Congressman Hal Rogers of Kentucky's 5th District gave the keynote address to celebrate the completion of the 4,000-foot barrier wall that took six years to construct deep into the embankment. Thanks to the great work of the Corps and these contractors uh, and uh, all involved, uh, we, I think, are now ready to see the rebirth of the tourist economy in this whole section of Kentucky. The commanding general of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Great Lakes and Ohio River Division explained the importance of fixing Wolf Creek Dam. It was most likely to fail and had the most need of top prioritization and rehabilitation. The commander of the Nashville District announced that Lake Cumberland is already on the rise and will be more than 20 feet higher than its level during construction in time for the 2013 recreation season. Soon after March 6th, when the concrete for the last pile was placed, those team efforts began to pay off when we started capturing water from the spring rains into Lake Cumberland. As a result, the elevation of Lake Cumberland this morning stands at 701 feet or 21 feet above where we had kept it for the last six years. With the pool level rising, the Secretary of the Kentucky Tourism, Arts, and Heritage Cabinet lauded the Corps and said the state is ready to promote tourism at Lake Cumberland. For the 10 counties around Lake Cumberland, tourism is almost a $300 million industry every year. And visitation to this lake plays a major role in the success of many communities and make no mistake, tourism puts food on the table for lots of families in this region. The Kentucky Tourism Arts and Heritage Cabinet and the Department of Travel and Tourism and our local partners are working hard to make sure our visitors know about the good news on Lake Cumberland. We are going to be using the phrase, more lake, more fun, and I could not agree more. The leaders of Trevi Ico Solitanche Joint Venture, the contractor for the project, came all the way from France and Italy and participated in the ceremony. They celebrated the technical and human successes of the project. During the construction, piles were formed by drilling 50-inch diameter holes through the six-foot-wide wall deep into the limestone foundation. After drilling, they were filled with concrete to form individual piles. Ranging from 108 to 276 feet deep, the piles were overlapped to form the continuous underground wall to stop seepage through the foundation. The Corps placed more than 300,000 cubic yards of concrete to form the barrier wall and protective concrete embankment wall. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District in Russell Springs, Kentucky.